I'm very happy to be here during these uh, very big events as the Olympic game in London was amazing. We're here to um, do what we do all the time, which is sort of educate, uh, promote. You know, tell people what Vibram is about. I was a very lucky guy because I start in 2002, the Vibram Five Fingers project. We start together to make something different. Being in London now, this is, is like full of athletes, it's like the athletes coming out of every corner. It's like, that's why we're here. It's, a, it's, a, it's when it matters. I'm in Dublin City University at the moment doing a PhD in uh, simulated barefoot running. Barefoot running has been a, a huge influence in that for me and in, in my own running and rediscovering uh, the benefits of, of, of natural running form, in, enjoyable running more so than anything else. I've experimented a lot since 2004 with barefoot running. I've run barefoot marathons. I was a runner at school. Uh, I've run all my life. Those days, uh, it was with um, big trainers, and then Five and Five Fingers arrived. And even though I thought that I didn't know if the UK was quite ready for them, we decided to go for it. I just got involved. I just asked, I would like to be involved with this. And our approach was uh, follow the consumer, talk with the consumer, have to understand what the people think about the product. I think the biggest problem was set off, actually, by liberal interpretation. And that is with the contradiction itself of barefoot shoes. There's no such thing as really as the bare foot. The foot is bare by definition. If I say ear, if I say hand, if I say nose, you don't think there's going to be a nose cover or ears covers, right? If I say chest, you don't think there's a shirt on it. Ironically, with the foot, it was, you have to say bare because we have such a culture of wearing shoes. It was uh, not so much a discovery as going back to, to kind of when I was younger. I've always loved to run as, as, as long as I've lived. I've, since I was nine or ten, I've always just wanted to be a runner. I used to run home from school in the plimsolls that you get, you know, in the gym in school. It was only when I actually went to, to university and started getting, a, I got a scholarship and started getting traditional shoes that I started experiencing running injuries and, and a dramatic change in running form. On the market, nobody know about this uh, little crew, about these people go barefoot uh, to run or barefoot to go to shop. And um, so these people try a solution to run uh, more and to run everywhere with protection and with the same feeling like they are barefoot. Everything that the science was telling me and the, and the footwear company was telling us about injury prevention and, and cushioning and support just, just wasn't adding up and it was really, you know, there was an eye-opening moment when I realised less is more. Um, I've since done ultra-distance marathons in Five and Five Fingers as well as uh, I'm the first barefoot iron woman. We all know that minimalist shoes have always existed. They were just, you know, whether because they were what uh, athletes wore and spikes, you know, the spikes that they wore to be on cinder blocks at the, you know, back in the 50s, or whether it was because they were just sandals of ancient Romans or ancient Egyptians. So minimal shoes have always existed. What hasn't existed is shoes that contoured and imitated and tried to conform 
to the natural shape of the foot. 2005, we start uh, the, uh, in the U.S. market. And the U.S. market was one of the country that uh, understand very fast uh, what is uh, the um, technical approach of the product with the body. I read Born to Run as, as most people do and, and, and purchased my first pair of, of five fingers and it was just you know a, a light coming on really. I'll, I don't think I'll ever forget the first run. Vibram Five Fingers really as a product I think gave the impetus to hey this is this product is stimulating me to do something. It's not doing things for me. It's making me want to do things. I want to understand more what's happening to my feet, what's happening to my body, why does this feel better? You know, what is it about this form of running which is so different from what everyone else is doing? Quick feet, but everything else is great. Right? With my background in sports injuries, I was able to help, and having experienced it myself as well, people get through the conversion from heel strike and smooth at forefoot, as well as from shod to effectively unshod. We do encourage people to walk before they run, literally. Uh, that uh, generates a better body alignment because without the heel lift of a, a general shoe, they discovered that vertical isn't where they thought it was, so that's a period of adaptation. We go through a program of uh, drill and uh, steady state flowing running, just natural at ease running, uh, and then there's a development just taking that and enhancing it to generate more speed, uh, and then there's a, a way of doing a hill that isn't making um, a mountain out of a molehill. You can run a hill beautifully without it being too effortful. Over a period of years, it's become apparent that there is not a formula, there is no prescription because everybody is different, but there is a series of um, adaptations that need to be processed and we've learned that we can't accelerate nature. So we try and temper people's expectations and if they go through it in a quicker fashion then all well and good because it feels so joyous it's hard to hold people back. While it may be something that we've done for millions of years, today it isn't. It's a very, it's, it is a new activity whether, whether we like it or not. We're, we're now moving away from something that's become tradition back into something that is more natural and, and I really want to play a key role in, in understanding that and also providing some answers as far as how we can go back to that as safely as possible. For a stimulation to re-familiarise, re-educate, try new things. Are we trying to imitate something that is natural or are we in fact teaching some a, a new way of running? Is it really the way that we did run before we ever experienced shoes on our feet in the first place? And, and you know, they're questions that we may never know the answers to. We run for Fingers project. We start together to make something different with a different technology, different design, something like very revolutionary to put on the market. We hope that we can grow more and in, the, in this moment we are, we are very happy. I want to look at the, the mass majority of, of runners worldwide and, and there's not a huge percentage that are willing to run completely barefoot. The, the way that the majority will go is in minimalist running. It, it definitely has a role to play both anecdotally and from a scientific perspective.